Hey, what's happening? It's Tuesday afternoon, and I'm over here at the Salvation Army. I originally wasn't going to go out today, but I decided to go anyway, because that's just part of my rebellious nature. It looked like they weren't putting very much stuff out, but I did manage to find a few things. I've been here for less than an hour, and I'm not going to stick around all day. I'm actually going to get out of here now, but I wanted to show you guys what I found. I found this vintage Hamilton Beach drink mixer, and it comes with that metal cup right there. This was $4.25, and it looks like these have average cell comps for about $20 to $25 plus shipping. And then I found this nice rice cooker. It's made by a company called, and I'm not sure if I'm going to butcher this or not, but Zojirushi. And um, from what I understand, this is actually a pretty good name. I've got a really nice item at home still in my death pile that uh, it's like a water heater for tea or something. But I paid $2.55 for this. I haven't tested it and I don't know if it works, but it looks like just the power cable in new condition sells for like $16. So I could probably get like close to that uh, in pre-owned. And then somebody sold the bowl on the inside. And there's my bowl right there. Looks like they got 25 plus shipping and they just sold one yesterday. So I figured for $2.55 I really can't go wrong. But hopefully it works and I can sell the whole unit. And then I found this really nice Gagia coffee grinder. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. I haven't tried testing it. And the last one that sold was on May 3rd and it looks like the buyer paid $350 plus shipping. And another seller sold one a month before for $159. 96 but I'll probably end up posting mine for 350 because I'd rather have 350 than 159 yeah, but that's just me you guys might be happy with 159 but I'd like to get that three and a half anyway I'm gonna see if I can't go find some free stuff and I'll talk to you guys in a little while hey how you doing I'm over here at the light table I'm trying to get caught up a little bit but I just got done photographing this stuff over here which is all that golf stuff and there's some golf balls over there and some little items over there and I might just try to go ahead and start listing that stuff tonight because I'll probably end up going uh, back out tomorrow during the warmer months like this people are getting rid of stuff and this is the time to be stocking up in my opinion on merchandise so as you guys saw I found some pretty good stuff over at the old Salvation Army today I was starting to get a little bit nervous about half an hour into it because all I found was that drink machine and I thought I ended up wasting a bunch of gas to get out there for nothing. But she must have put those items on the shelf while I was somewhere else in the store. But I was definitely happy to have them. I also ended up grabbing some free items today. Uh, there wasn't really anything insane, but there were a few good items. This is a vintage True Right uh, candy thermometer, I think they call it. It's definitely old. It's got a lot of wear to the package. But I think they probably sell for about 11 bucks. I got this phone set today. Uh, they don't sell for a lot of money, but as long as they work, you can get about 15 bucks a piece for them. And they also had these two chargers included. Uh, these usually sell for about 12 to 15 dollars as well. Uh, this right here is the uh, main base. This probably won't sell for anything. I'll probably just hold on to it long enough to test the handsets, and then I'll toss it. And then I picked up this Hotronic uh, foot warmer. I'm not sure exactly how it works. It looks like there's some kind of cable that plugs into this, but you also have to plug this into the wall, so I'm not really sure how it works. I'm going to have to do a little research. Uh, it didn't cost me anything, so I'll see if I can make some kind of money on it. I also got this uh, Quasinart can opener. I'm not sure if this thing is supposed to be so jangly. It does kind of come down a little bit, but it pops back up. I think it's fine. Uh, I think it works okay. I'm going to have to test it out on a can. It's going to need to be cleaned up a little bit, and I don't think it sells for a lot of money. It might sell for like 10 bucks or something. I also got this little spool of uh, Black & Decker. Uh, it's some kind of, maybe for a weed whacker? Something like that. Grass hog, yeah, probably like a weed whacker. Uh, I think it used to have three packs in it. It just has two now. But I think I could probably get about 8 bucks for this. Uh, this is a really nice one right here. This is a Bacilla uh, cross-stitch kit, and it looks good. It's got Santa Claus there. It says Lisa. Well, I guess it could say Lisa. It could probably say whatever you want. And it uh, definitely looks unused. I'm going to have to have a closer look, though. It looks like if it's new, it sells for about $45. But I imagine it would probably sell for more uh, during the holiday season. So I might put like $59.95 or best offer, 
and just kind of waited out till uh, November or December. So not really a bad day. I would say it was uh, all right. Uh, these thrift stores can really play on your emotions. Uh, they can be a real emotional roller coaster for sure. But I'm going to go see if I can't get this stuff listed. And I hope you guys are having a good start of the new week. Hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. You guys have a great night and we'll talk to you next time. There's a fucking freaky ass looking spider right there. Holy shit.